<clears throat> if you haven't read Stephen King's The Gunslinger and don't want this ruined, or if you're reading it now and don't want it ruined, stop. Okay? <laughs> I, I mean, well, you could stop reading the book, but or you could stop listening to the video. Either one. Okay, but I am going to spoil the crap out of this book for you. I, what do you mean? they have free will. They can exercise free will. Okay, I, I'm not a huge Stephen King fan, but a guy who worked at the shop, well, he still works at the shop, but I don't anymore. A guy who works at the shop, Luke, our evil genius, Love Stephen King. And every day he would tell me about another part of another book from Stephen King. And so I, I started reading The Gunslinger. And I'm still very mad at Mr. King. I have vowed to never read another Stephen King book. So I've read The Gunslinger series, The Stand, um... The one with all the birds. What was that one? I don't know. I don't you guys know. Stephen King. So, spoiler alert. Stop. Stop. Don't do it. <clears throat> I wanted to punch this man so hard that his teeth would have flown through the back of his head. The end of the last book in the Gunslinger series. <sighs> he, uh... The book starts... With the gunslinger in the desert, and he's tired, and he's wounded, and he's just plodding through the desert, chasing after the man in black. And you're like, go, gunslinger, go. You can do it. <laughs> eight books. Eight books of the gunslinger overcoming Stephen obstacles. The books are not little. They're not little. They're like, yay thick. And eight books, including some really terrible plot lines in the later books just to you know you're and it's facilitation you're like i get it it's we gotta pad the story to make stuff happen so that you know we can get to the end right roland the uh the gunslinger said he's walking through the desert plodding along he's got holes in him he's injured he's tired he hasn't had any water but he's gonna get the man in black and you're like yeah you go, gunslinger. Do your job. Work it, brother. Eight books. He finally gets to the end. He gets to the tower. And there's this bad dude in the tower. And he figures out a way to kill the bad guy in the tower. And you're like, yes. And he's climbing up the tower, spiral tower. And he's going past all these doors. And on the name, on the door, each door is the name of somebody he loved who has died in this quest that he's taken you know eons to complete and he gets to the top and his tears streaming down his face and he's tired and he's exhausted and he just you're like yes finally redemption the man is going to accomplish his goal and he kicks to the top door in and steps through the door and the book ends and you're like okay maybe the point of the story is that we don't know what comes after this struggle and strife. Gandhi said, you know, life is suffering. Okay. Which I can, uh, doesn't really do it for me, but okay. All right. But then, but then, but then, there is a bonus chapter. And the bonus chapter is why Mr. King needs to get his butt whooped. Because... Roland goes through the door and he goes tumbling through four dimensional space time and lands in the same damn desert that he started in. And now you know why he's tired and he's full of bullet holes and he hasn't had anything to drink and he hasn't slept and he's exhausted and he's still chasing the man in black and it just starts all over again. And there's a little part of my soul that died when I read that because it was not life confirming. It's so futile. It's like, it doesn't matter. It's like he said, it doesn't matter how hard you try because we're just stuck on this cycle of stuff. Now, the, the Buddhist karmic aspect of it is there's huge undertones of reincarnation in this book and, and doing things over and over again until you get it right. 
So you could make that argument as well. And I'm sure a lot of people would. But for me, I disapprove of this entire concept. That man busted his butt to get the job done. And he finally got a job. He finally got the job done. And now he's going to start over again. Right from, right from the beginning. I hate it. I hate it. The worst ending to a book ever. The end. Do you remember when I got done with that book? I want to say the Mitch Rapp ones ended pretty, like... <clears throat> Vince Flynn died. That's not his fault. Well, okay. He yeah. couldn't... He had pancreatic True. cancer. True. Stephen King did not die. Right. Although he needs to get roughed up. But, I mean, a lot of people, like... That kind of... Like you said, it does kind of speak to life because there is a lot of people that go through the same stuff over and over and over again. And number one, don't learn their lesson, you know, and they just keep on making the same mistakes. And number two, like, they just have like a bad outlook mm -hmm. on life and stuff. Like they just keep letting stuff happen to them. They just keep chasing the man in black. Right. Hmm. So. Very deep, my love. <laughs> you know who else needs to get beat up? And who? we're going to end here. Who? George R. R. Martin. Not George Martin, who's a subscriber here. George R. R. Martin, the He's Game dead of too. Game of Thrones guy's dead. Yeah. No. Really? Yeah. No. Yeah. No. I think so. Google it. He's not dead. I'm pretty sure he. Google is. it up. Google it up. Okay. That guy wrote like how many books? Four or five books. And he's like, oh, HBO deal? I'm going to quit writing and uh, just I'll just go be an executive producer for HBO. Go where the money is. So, no new books. And you know what? I've forgotten everything that was in those books, and I don't care anymore. So, I'll never buy another one of his books either. Yeah, maybe not. <coughs> yeah. He's I not. I saw a thing where he He's not dead. He just sold out to HBO. <laughs> which might as well have been, but... You know, got to make hay while the sun's shining. I get it. The man, he's in the, you know, his later years in life, and somebody showed up with a check with a whole lot of zeros after the main number, and he took it. I get it. He's not dead. Oh, George Martin, the Beatles producer, died. Yeah, not George R.R. R. Martin. Yeah. And not our sub. What if our sub was the Beatles producer? Well, Are you okay? I think it happened a while ago. Oh. Are you okay? Yeah. Are you okay? Are you okay? All right. He's still present. George R. R. Martin. Yes. Okay, cool. So, um, yeah, that's my cool story about um, the gunslinger, Stephen King's The Gunslinger. Right. Don't read it. The worst damn ending a book could have. Other than no ending, thanks, George Martin. So, <clears throat> there you go. I, I read a lot of books, right? Yeah. Yeah. He reads all the time. I read a lot of books. And all the time. And he rereads books. Like, I can't do that. Once I know how a book ends, like, I might forget it, but then as soon as I start reading it, I'm like, oh, yeah, I remember this. And I can't reread books, but he'll read a book like five times. And I also have excellent retention. Right, which blows me away that you could reread a book because I can't do that. You ever watch a movie you like? Because I'm the type of person once? like I read, I read two pages, and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> and I read, I'm reading five, I think it's five books right now. Not including the Bible, just five books. Simultaneously. He holds yeah. them with his toes. Uh, and all, yeah, hands. all of them. All of them. It's, I actually, uh, <laughs> there's a little kid up the street I, I hire to stand behind me and hold books for me so I can look at all of them at the same time. So. Uh, 
Uh, funny. I'm tired. Me too. We should probably like we're we're past the the the, the valuation of this content is going downhill okay. real quick. Yes. So. Like my eyes. Yeah. Shalom. Can he do it? I don't know. Can he? I'm just messing. It's over here. It's mm-hmm. off camera. It's over here. Oh. Not here. See. This is here. It's over, it's actually over <laughs> I hope here. You edit this. No, I'm gonna. I, I never edit anything. It, people horrible. love this. People love this. It's tremendous. Okay. Bye now. Bye.